Welcome, this is Dr. Amanda Rackinson Zapku, and in this tutorial, we are going to use SPSS to test or examine the assumptions of both multicollinearity and singularity. Remember, a MANOVA is most robust when the dependent variables are moderately associated. When correlations are low or not significant, then singularity is violated. And ultimately then, a you, you should not continue with a MANOVA, rather do separate univariate analyses such as a one-way ANOVA. Conversely, multicollinearity is an issue when is an issue when the correlation coefficient values are significant and high, above a 0.8 or a 0.9. When multicollinearity exists, there are different avenues that you can take, um, such as you can collapse the variables into a single measure or remove, remove a variable. In order to decide what's most appropriate for your data set, really you should consult uh, some sort of statistics text, such as Warner's, uh, Warner or Tabachnik and Fidel. So ideally what we're hoping here is that our dependent variables are moderately associated with one another. Now, there are numerous ways to examine this, and they're really sophisticated methods for detecting singularity and multicollinearity. However, I like using the simplest, which is a Pearson's correlation coefficient. Um, the, and so we're going to use a Pearson's correlation coefficient to examine the association between our two dependent variables, learning community and connectedness. The way we do this is we click Analyze. Remember, a Pearson's R is a correlation analysis, so we're going to come down here to correlate, and where Pearson's R is a bivariate correlation, so we're going to click bivariate. And we are presented here with the bivariate correlation dialog box. We click the dependent variables and we use this arrow here to move them over to the variables box. So I just moved learning community over to the box. Now I'm going to click connectedness, use the arrow and move that over to the box. Now you'll see here that the default is the correlation coefficient Pearson's R. So that's already ticked for us. We're going to use a two-tailed test. We don't hope to see a relationship necessarily one way or the other. We just want to see a moderate relationship or association between our variables. And we're going to leave the default um, ticked here, flag significant correlations. That way SPSS pr um, provides asterisks in our output next to the significant correlations. So we're going to click OK, and SPSS will produce output for us. We are concerned with this first table here, the correlations table. And looking at the table, what we can see is that we have duplicates of all our correlation results. So we really only need to focus on one cell, and we're going to focus on this top cell here, and um, which tells us the relationship coefficient between community and um, connectedness. Now, the first thing that we're interested in is this significance row. Um, and in the sig row, what we're hoping to see here is a value, a p-value of less than 0 0.05. Because remember, if our probability value is less than 0 0.05, our variables are statistically significantly associated. So here we see that we have a significance level of less than 0 0.001, therefore we can conclude that our two variables are significantly associated. The next thing that we're interested in is the correlation coefficient, and that's the Pearson's R correlation. Uh, so we look at the Pearson's R correlation row, and what we see is that the coefficient is 0.77, which indicates a high association between our two dependent variables. However, it is less than 0.8 and 0.9, which um, is really the cutoff for, multi for violating the assumption of multicollinearity. So we can say that examining these two dependent variables in a MANOVA is suitable. We can conclude that multicollinearity is not a concern and singularity is not a concern either. And um, when we will look at this later, but when we write up this correlation, we'll simply say that the association between the dependence variables was significant and we'll report the correlation coefficient, the degrees of freedom and the probability value. 
And we'll say that multicollinearity and singularity are not a concern here.